now we will start by deploying Windows Server 2003. on Hyper-V Let's make the size like uh, 40 gigabytes. Let me have the arms. This is just to sort of show you that uh, this image is from scratch. Okay, uh, I will uh, <coughs> increase the speed for the video now. Okay, now the Windows Server is set up. Uh, we'll try to log in. As you can see, there's no mouse. You, can, you can't use your mouse. Uh, also, uh, if you have a physical server 2003, you can uh, migrate it to a virtual machine using uh, P2V or using the Starlink B2V software. Uh, now our first step is to uh, install uh, the VM guest agent. Uh, I extracted the VM guest agent uh, uh, from uh, Windows Server 2012, VM guest setup, sorry. Okay, now we need to <coughs> let us sign first. Okay, now you will see that the setup will work. It will install the Hyper-V integration service, the latest one that supports 2003. This file and all the needed files will be uh, put in a link and put in a separate uh, drive and you can download it whenever you want. Okay, uh, the integration service need is, uh, is start. Okay, as you can see, the mouse is working now.
Okay, let's try to log in now. Okay, we'll enable uh, the remote. <clears throat> remote desktop, okay. Now we need to shut down the server. The uh, drive you, you create, the hard drive you created is VHDX. We need to convert it to VHD. It's fixed. As you know, the visual needs fixed VHD. So, we will convert now and continue with this function. Okay, after the disk is converted, we can use that disk. As our reference. And we will upload it to Azure using the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. Page of law, upload. We we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, now let's move to the storage account. We need to create the disk from it. Go and take the URL. You go to disks. Create. Source style storage blog. <clears throat> and we paste the link here, Windows. Next, next. Create. If you, if you want to change in these settings, you can change, but as for now, I'm, I'm doing the, 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 the requirement uh, things. So when the disk is ready, we will uh, create the VM. And we will try to log into the VM. Now, the disk is ready, we can create a VM from it. Okay, you put here 2003 server. <coughs> okay, I took the settings. Let's say it's the T to SP3, allow RDP. License type here on the server, but ensure you have you have the uh, license networking. It's already set up. Okay, these settings you can, as I said before, you can change, but I'm doing the required now. We will try to log into the VM when it's created. It needs around one to two minutes. Now the VM is up 
and we can try to uh, log on remotely to the server. Uh, let me get this IP. Top 13. Okay, now it's working. And I believe it's up and normal. 